Hello and welcome back to another end of other video. Today we are talking about Winter Storm Izzy and the potential tracks for the Northeast, the potential scenarios. This is not my final predictions video, that will be tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss that video. Today we're talking about potential tracks and what those tracks could lead to. We haven't really decided on a definite track for this storm. There are uh, two scenarios, coastal low and a inland low, and then that inland low scenario has two subsets. But I'll talk about that in a bit. We're going to focus on that first. We're going to look at the European model and the GFS. The European model is an inland low, but staying closer to the coast. So it's kind of like a combination of the two scenarios, kind of in the middle ground, uh, where it does jump inland at some points, but also jumps back toward the coastline as well, right in here. Then you have the GFS, which kind of goes further inland, and it does jump out to sea at some points, but... It still has, you can see there's like two areas of lower pressure, but there's always one that's further inland, and that's what's really driving all the warm air. So that will leave most of the heavy accumulating for snowfall further inland, which is shown by these two potential snowfalls. So this is the Europeans' potential snowfall. This is assuming a 10 to 1 snow to liquid ratio, which is fairly consistent on average, but not as good as like the Kuchera ratio that I typically use, but you can see that there are some areas that get heavy snowfall, such as western New York, uh, parts of Pennsylvania, but also areas of the coastline that could see six inches, uh, areas such as down east Maine, and areas like uh, parts of Massachusetts and Connecticut, uh, areas like northwest New Jersey, southeast Pennsylvania getting into that three to six, Parts of Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, seeing some more uh, snowfall in the more lower areas instead of just the higher elevations compared to the GFS, which shows all of the snowfall in the south, such as Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, all that heavy snow remaining in the upper elevations with very few areas getting snowfall outside of that. And then most of the snowfall is pertained to Western Pennsylvania, Eastern Ohio, and Western New York, with only the high elevations of the Northeast and parts of the Adirondacks and the Catskills, and then parts of the Green and White Mountains in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine getting those higher snow totals. But most of the areas such as New Eng Southern New England, New York City, Philadelphia, not really getting much snow because that low pressure is so far inland that these areas will be in mostly a rain event. So that really puts things into perspective here since we do have those two scenarios, coastal and inland, and this is where you can kind of see the differences because the more coastal the low is, the more snow you're gonna see in areas such as southern New England, areas of Maine, as well as the major population centers around Philadelphia, Baltimore, DC, New York, maybe Boston, New York, but those two are kind of on the edge. Uh, but even areas such as Connecticut, Massachusetts, parts of Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, uh, parts of the lower lying areas of North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, Southeast Pennsylvania, areas like that could see significant snow differences based on how this low pressure moves through the Northeast. So, I made a uh, graphic here. I actually made two, but we'll, we'll talk about the second one in a little bit. So, this is my first scenario, which is an inland low, which this is a more likely path for this storm to take, where you see a low pressure that moves through the inland regions of the northeast, and you could see I used the European model run for this since... It's not as far in as the GFS. The GFS is like out here, uh, further west. And that's why you see much more snow out here. But with the European, you can see that three to six along the coast of Maine, uh, in parts of New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, parts of New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. 
less than three in areas near uh, Philadelphia, New York City, Boston. Those areas probably won't be getting more than an inch or two. Uh, then you have that 6 to 12 from Maine all the way down through into Pennsylvania. And then you have some swatches of 12 to 24. Now, with the European model run where that low pressure stays closer to the coast, you will see areas on the lower end of this range since that moisture from the Atlantic is not pulled as far in and is dumped more on the coastal areas in terms of snowfall. And since that low pressure is further east in the European model run, you don't have that heavy swath of moisture in areas like western New York, western Pennsylvania, where you get that 12-ish inches on the European model run, whereas the further inland this low is and can drive in that Atlantic moisture, you'll get to the higher end there as well. So some areas, according to the GFS, could see two feet of snow from this in western New York and west of western Pennsylvania. But the European model run shows that 8 to 12-ish range extending through parts of New England, maybe even southern New England, and into southern parts of New York. So this is the less likely of the two scenarios. This is a coastal low, which will bring that heavy snow further southeast, <clears throat> including areas such as western Massachusetts, southwest New Hampshire, southern Vermont, parts of central New York, northeast Pennsylvania, northwest New Jersey. So <clears throat> areas around there could see that 12 to 24, more likely at around a foot, but then you have this widespread area of 6 to 12 and areas such as uh, parts of upstate and western New York, parts of most of Pennsylvania, parts of western New Jersey, uh, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine. And then that 3 to 6 inches extends into areas such as Boston, New York, as well as coastal New Jersey, Long Island. And then that 0 to 3 just pertains to Cape Cod and very down east Maine. But you could also see here that we do have some lake effect snow from this since the winds will be coming off of those lakes and into areas such as Watertown, New York, Erie, Pennsylvania, but areas around there such as Buffalo won't see as much, maybe in that three to six inch range. But that is the scenarios for Izzy. Uh, final predictions coming tomorrow ahead of this storm impacting the Northeast. So stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell. But that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.